Hi everyone, this video we're going to automatically sync audio. We've got some terrible audio. Let's listen. Hi there, let's talk about... Okay, but I've recorded on a separate microphone some good audio. Hi there, let's talk about... I'm going to show you how to automatically sync them together so that they match up perfectly. All right, real quick, why do you get a video that's not synced with your audio? Okay, um, often you'll have a camera that you're recording on, let's say a DSLR like I am, and it's got a terrible microphone. Okay, and you are then using a separate microphone to record the audio. So video from this guy and audio from this. And they're actually two separate files. And um, the way for the, this needs to work, it will not sync up unless you've actually captured your audio, the bad audio, on the video. Okay, so you're recording. Just make sure that actually microphone is recording on your camera. It's going to be terrible, but that's what it uses to align the good stuff. Okay, and basically, uh, the higher end you go, okay, you get fancier, you know, digital video cameras. They'll do the same thing. They might use this microphone, okay, and you can get away with some of these shotgun microphones. But often, the higher the production level, the more often you'll get camera stuff and microphone stuff recorded separately onto different devices. And it'll be your job to make sure they're lined up. Just make sure whoever's videoing, even if it's really bad, record the audio that's coming in through the camera. All right, let's actually sync them. Let's find the footage. It's under the footage folder. Okay, I'm gonna drop it down. So I'm back at my pro project window. Okay, so I've found footage. Let's find, it's called Sync One Dreamweaver. Let's right click it and say, make a sequence from the clip. Okay, double click this and uh, this and let's call it Dream Sync One Sequence. Just so you remind yourself what it is. And let's click hold and drag it to that side there. Okay, just so it's not all getting bunched up in the footage folder. Okay, so there's my sync, uh, sync one sequence. Let's add the audio. Okay, so let's go to audio, let's find it in here. It's called sync one, Dreamweaver. Let's drag this out. Okay, now the one thing when you're dragging out audio from here, okay, is that it won't go to the video layer because there's no video with it, just audio. So let's have a little listen to this. So first up is what we're making is it's gonna be a video background. So you can see very terrible because uh, I've got hard surfaces, but also because it's from my camera. Also, yeah, so the audio is not going to be amazing. It's amazingly better, okay? But over here, um, the reason, you know, the reason it's not amazing is because actually I just have a microphone between my legs here. That's how I used to get my audio, okay? Work fine. You listen to it, it works okay. I've got a fancier uh, microphone now, my shotgun microphone, but this worked great. So, it's recorded this. So it needs both of these. And um, one of the things that'll happen though is if I select both of these, so I'm holding shift, clicking them both, and I right click any of them and I go oh, synchronize. It's not working. Why is it grayed out? It's because these two can't, these two audio um, are on the same track. These two audio clips, same track. And it will try and smush them together. It doesn't like that. So you've got to have one on one track and one on the other. Because basically it's just going to line them up for us. So they're on their own tracks. I'm going to hold shift, click this one, click that one, right click it, hit synchronize. Okay, and we're going to say, I think it defaults to. Uh, clip start. That'll mean I'm going to try and line them up based on where these clips both start, which I can never turn my microphone on at the same time as my camera with any accuracy. So this one here is the automatic feature. So it doesn't just click on audio. It's not going to work if you've got your audio on track three or four or five. We've happened to have ours on track one, which is perfect. And let's click OK. Give it a sec and it lines it all up. OK, I'm going to double click this to delete it. Bring it back over and let's have a listen. Thing that we're making and the resources I've got. So now they're both playing. So you can either just mute this, uh, mute this track. First up is what we're making. Way is. better. Okay. What we might do is just tidy it up because that, that's all you really need, right? Um, so you can skip on now. Uh, I'm going to show you a few little tricks because I don't need this bad audio. I only recorded it so that I could sync up the good audio. So I'm going to, uh, instead of muting it, I'm going to right click it and say unlink. Okay, click on this bottom bit, delete it. I'm going to drag this in to the ends because I recorded a way more audio than video, um, mainly just because I can, I turn my audio on first, then turn my camera on, and vice versa when I turn it off, so it's a bit extra. I'm gonna move this up to the next layer. Okay, select them both, right click it and say link. Okay, now it just means that when I move this track around, so just moving the video part around, it's gonna all move together. Now again, you can carry on. I'm just going to do a little bit of work to fix this up. Okay, I need to raise it up because it's too low. It's you can see it like bouncing down here. Background. So how do we fix that? Do you remember? You do. 
So we've done it loads. Click on it. Dialogue. Loudness. Auto match. Magic Premiere. Love it. It's probably my best feature out of the new versions of uh, Premiere Pro. And like a big effect in the background. Cool. So is it the right decibel levels? Uh, I do this as well. Okay. Uh, I do my, hi everyone, get started really loud and then tail off. Okay. Your talent might not be doing this. My talent is not very talented um, and I need to do this a lot. Okay. So I kind of just, how far across? Yeah, that works. So I start too loud and then I'm going to just raise it up. Okay. Might even raise it just a bit more steeply there. To delete a keyframe, just click on it and hit delete on your keyframe. Oh, <laughs> delete on your keyboard <laughs> even. So let's listen. Hi there. Let's talk about the thing that we're making and the resources I've got. So first up is what we're making is it's going to be a video background with like text and images, basically a whole website over the probably gets just a little bit too loud, but that's what I tend to have to do for a lot of my stuff. It depends on the course. Like mm, sometimes I don't bother. <laughs> but I should. All right. Do the last little bit of editing over the top. So I do something there over the top. I'm going to space by there, cut, hit C on my keyboard to get my, um, I can tell that I lose my direction because it's too short and, <laughs> and the rest of it looks, so, look. so yep, lost my way. This looks like where I get started again. Uh, if you are hanging around and you are watching, you get rewarded with a little shortcut. Okay, I'll cover it later in the course for the people that skipped on. But you get to this point and you're like, I want to get it kind of dragged and how do I get it so he's not like <laughs> sleeping? Uh, you can get it close with this, but sometimes it's just, it's a bit it's trying to connect with stuff and jump and snap. Get your playhead close to where it wants to be and just use your uh, arrows on your keyboard. Okay, there's the, we've used the up and down to kind of jump around, but use the left and right. Watch this. I'm just tapping the right key and moves one frame at a uh, time. <laughs> I'm going to start there with my eyes open. Okay, so just forward one frame, back one frame. Okay, left and right keys. Click it. V key to grab the move tool, delete, click again, delete. Okay, do a lot of that. There are some fancier tools which we'll cover, but that's a lot of what I do. In the background and the website over the top. We'll also make the... There you go. That's me. Also note that I got better at, can you see the, my glasses? Okay. Just as a little tip, if you are doing similar stuff to this, you keep the uh, light way up high. Okay. So I hit, I had it quite low to reflect on my face, which was good to light my face. But if you've got glasses, you end up seeing the lights. That's not too bad. I got this ring light. Okay. But if I just moved it up a bit higher and pacing down, it still gives me a good light and it doesn't reflect in the glasses. Great for like podcasts that I do. If I've got a light in front of me, just keep it real high. It means I can continue wearing my glasses without this being big reflection in it. Anyway, thanks for hanging around guys. Uh, let's look at the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like, consider subscribing to the channel here. And also if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.